And now let's play this clip again. So, so smooth. This clip is 4K and 24 frames per second. However, my timeline is 25 frames per second. Now I could change this to 24, but all the other footage is in 25 frames per second. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that this will match up because if you don't have this matching up with your timeline, it's going to look bad. So I'm going to drop this on the timeline. And now if we play this clip, you will see that it's a bit jittery, right? And that has to do with the fact that it's missing one frame every second. Now DaVinci Resolve has a great way how you can address this. You can go to the inspector tab and then scroll down to retime and scaling. And then if you change the retime process from project settings to optical flow, you will see that the clip is now smooth. Now, why is this a good thing? Let me undo that by hitting Ctrl Z because let's say you want to slow down this clip, right? In theory, you would need a 50 frames per second clip because you've got a 25 frames per second timeline and that means you can slow it down once. But right now we've got a 24 frames per second clip. So if we slow that one down, it's going to look bad and I'm going to show you that. Right click, change clip speed, change the speed to 50% change and now let's play it without retime scaling change, right? So you see it's very jittery. It doesn't look good and it looks very unnatural. Now let's check out the same thing while changing the retime process to optical flow. And now let's play this clip again. So, so smooth. And that's because DaVinci Resolve is adding in the missing frames itself.